In this video, we're going to have a look at how we can position text within a Python TK Inter label. The positioning of text within a Python TK Inter label is based upon the compass. Here you can see the compass showing north, south, east and west. Within Python, the compass will look something like this. We don't use north, we use N, capital N to represent north, W, capital W to represent west and so on for south and east as you can see. To position text within a label, at the moment of creation of the label, we have to pass in various arguments, as you will have seen in previous videos in this playlist. An argument that is responsible for positioning the text is actually called anchor, and this will be assigned N if you want the text to be located north in the label, S for south, and so on. But we have to realize that the way in which we can position text is not just based on north, south, east, and west. It is based on as follows. We have a number of points of the compass. We've got north, we've got northeast, we've got east, we've got southeast, south, southwest, west, and northwest. So these points of the compass are used with respect to the anchor named argument. So for example, if I wanted to place the text in the bottom left corner you would assign to anchor sw for southwest if you do not specify anchor in other words you don't have anchor as one of the arguments passed when you create a label then the text will appear in the center of the label if however you decide to use anchor at all times and choose north northeast and so on but you want to center the text you would pass in the word center and you can see that is also all in capitals this computer program places two labels on a window this line creates the instance of the window this here well we've seen geometry earlier in the playlist and this here is telling us the size to create the window now i've chosen this side because it's going to clearly display the labels which are here and here now this label what it's going to do is simply display the text spacer and it's used as a space just so we can clearly see this label in the window if we look at this label we can see that we're creating the text hello world we have this backslash n which will put this hello world on the next line i'm setting the border width to one i'm setting the relief to solid which means that we're going to have a line all the way around the outside of the label the font is times and size 32 and the width is 15 and the height is 4 and here we can see we're packing label 1 and label 2 so when this program executes what we will see is the following and you can see i have got the first label here and that's simply because i wanted to move this label further down the window and that allows us to clearly see the border inside the label you can see this hello world displayed twice and there is space here here and at the sides now i've deliberately chosen this layout so we can see what happens when i choose to position the text not in its default position here, but north, northeast, and so on. I've taken the program we've just discussed and I have added to it this argument here. Anchor is assigned N, capital N for north. Now when this program runs, what we're going to see is the following. And you can see that Hello World has appeared within the label, but look at its position. It's up near the top of the label. In other words, north in the label. It's no longer in its center position. The center position was here when we run the previous program, and now you can see the text has moved up to the north position within the label. I've kept this program almost the same as the one we've just considered, except in this position, you can see I've changed anchor to be assigned S for south instead of the previous N for north. So when this program executes, what we're going to see is text within the label appearing here, south within the label. Assigning N to the argument anchor will give us this look and we can see that the text is at the top of the label, the north part of the label. If we assign S to anchor, then what we're going to see is the text appearing at the bottom of the label, the south part of the label. 
To emphasize a point, what you can see I've done here, I've changed anchor to N. But look, it's lowercase n, not capital N. So when this program runs, what we're going to get is this error. And you can see it's telling us that the name N is not defined. That's because anchor is expecting to be assigned capital N, not lowercase n. Likewise, you cannot assign lowercase s. You have to put uppercase s if you want it to be anchored south. For this program, you can see I've now changed anchor to northeast. The consequence of this is when the program runs, we're going to get this. And look at the position of the text within the label. It is in the northeast position, which is the top right corner. So let's consider when we change the anchor to east, as this snippet of code shows, then the text is going to be displayed as you can see here. It's gone to the east, it hasn't gone north or south, it's just shifted to the east. Now for this snippet of code, you can see that I've changed anchor to southeast. So when this program runs, what we're going to see is this. And you can see that the label has gone south and it's gone to the east. In other words, in this case, it's in the bottom right corner of the label, in the southeast position. This snippet of code from the program shows us that we're setting anchor to SW, southwest. So when the program now runs, what we're going to see is this. And look at the position of the text. It's gone south and it's gone west. It's in the bottom left corner. Also, if we look at this snippet of code, we can see that anchor is now being assigned W for West. And when this program now runs with this change, what we're going to see is this. And we can see that the label has gone to the West. It hasn't moved North or South. It's just gone to the West. This snippet of code shows that I'm changing the anchor to NW Northwest. And when the program runs for this setup, what we're going to see is this. And you can see the position of the text is in the North and to the west. In other words, as you look at the label, it is in the top left corner. For this snippet of code, you can see that anchor has been assigned center, and note that it's all in capital center. So when we run with this change, what we're going to see is the text right in the center of the label. Now, of course, if you don't include anchor, the text is going to appear in the center. That's its default position. But if you decide to use Anchor and you want to in the center, this is what you have to do. You have to assign it capital letters spelling out the word center. Let's consider this snippet of code and you can see that Anchor has been assigned center. But look at center closely and you can see it starts with a capital C and the rest, the E, the N, the T, E and the R, they're all lowercase. Now if you do this, what you're going to get when you run the program is an error because Anchor has to be assigned all uppercase for the spelling of center. Let's have another look at this one here. Here you can see that anchor has been assigned center, but in this case, everything is lowercase. Well, the same thing's going to happen. You're going to get an error. So just bear in mind that when you want to center your text, you have to put it in capital letters. So to summarize, we can position text within a label in various positions based on a compass. And all of those positions are demonstrated here. And we can say that we achieve that by the anchor named attribute. And we assign to this the points of a compass, as you can see here. Bearing in mind that we can also assign center to it, which will place the text in the center of the label. If we don't use anchor, it'll appear in the center. In any case, that's its default position. Check out the supporting website for these videos. In addition, why not follow me on Twitter as I issue a tweet every time I upload a new video?